Cher Martinetti from Sci-Fi Fangirls, and we're here at the Wonder Woman Family Museum with Christy Marston, who is kind enough to show us this amazing collection and share some stories about growing up with Wonder Woman. So Christy, your grandmother was actually the inspiration for the character, so let's talk a little bit about that. My grandmother was born in 1893, died in 1993. She had three degrees, she was always out there working, she was always positive. When something needed to get done, it got done. It didn't matter what it was. And it's just an absolutely amazing woman. I have never met to this day a person as mind-blowingly amazing as my grandmother. So that's Wonder Woman. So what does it feel like to look at this character that is so important to so many people and is a pop culture icon and be like, oh, that's my grandmother? Because it essentially is. Anyone who met her had the same reaction, so it's the same thing as Wonder Woman. I didn't realize until I started helping my father with the museum website and everything else how important Wonder Woman is to so many people all around the world. I didn't know that. She helped so many people. Incredibly diverse group of people too. It didn't matter like age, where they're from, gender, sexual preference, religion. Nothing mattered. It was just that one common thing they share her values. And finding out that she had been of huge help to people, such different backgrounds, but they kept, they started sending me private messages, just saying, you know, I want you to understand why Wonder Woman means so much to me. And what was really bizarre is all of a sudden I realized, wait a minute, these people are all saying exactly the same thing and they are very different people. So that feels great. Wonder Woman is doing what she should do. She's helping the world. This entire thing is like my dream come true right now. This entire collection is absolutely amazing. Um, when did this start? Dad started collecting in 99. Some of the things go back for a million years. I had odds and ends of things that had come through Graham, but this huge collection started in 99. And the stuff that you got from your grandmother. Did you realize when you were younger, like how big a deal any of that stuff was, or how big a deal Wonder Woman was, or were you just so unfazed oh, by it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. When I was a kid, you have to remember that Wonder Woman wasn't a big deal. Okay. All right, you know, there was the comic book and everything. It really hit it in the, uh, with the Linda Carter TV show in the 70s. That's when it became a big deal. But Wonder Woman's always been part of my world. I mean, she's just part of the family. Graham and Wonder Woman are the same person. So. Wonder Woman's just been, was always part of the family. It wasn't a big deal. So today's actually the 123rd or 24th anniversary of your grandfather's birthday. Let's talk a bit about, you didn't know your grandfather, right? He passed no. before you were born. Yes. So what are some of the stories that you heard about him and about just how this whole entire idea to create a comic book character came about? Well, the comic book idea, again, goes back to Graham. Mm -hmm. My grandfather was hired as a psych consultant for the company that became DC Comics. I mean, comics were a new thing and he was just guiding them on everything. Charlie Gaines, who was head of what became DC, had just kind of said, oh, Bill, why don't, why don't you write a comic? And he went home and talked to my grandmother and she said, yeah, go ahead and do it, but it's, it needs to be a woman because there are enough men out there already and the superheroes, so Wonder Woman started. But it was a totally different approach. He was not a comic book writer. He was a psychologist and attorney. So his approach was completely different. He was not someone who was hired on any regular basis to like do this kind of storytelling. So the character was the focus. And then the stories just could pop out any which way, it didn't matter, but the character was critical. And you know, Wonder Woman wandered, oh, she strayed away so many times over the years, particularly in the comic, and would pretty much almost fade away. But every time she goes back to her core values, there's a resurgence. And let's talk a little bit about those core values. So again, like she's modeled after your grandmother, it was a huge influence. It's just all inclusive. Fair play is critical. This person and this person are always equal. You try not to kick their ass. If you, can, if you can't talk them out of it, and you, you do what you have to do. Get things done. Don't ever let anything stop you. One of the things that everybody knows Wonder Woman for is that she's a huge feminist icon. Your grandmother was a feminist before like that word was even really thrown around. But she's about fair play. It's not just women. It's everybody. And that's critical to how you look at her. Yeah, but I think that's also why she 
makes such a great icon. She is for everyone. Absolutely everybody. This is why feminists, womenists, whatever, do love her because right. that's really what embodies she, their she's beliefs. She's used that as that icon in many different factions. It just happens to be with with women, well, that's like really, really, really visible because there are a few of us around. Just to help all. Like, how do I feel about her being like a feminist icon or anything icon, even though she's a comic book character? Wonder Woman started as pen and ink on a comic book page, but she became real when she started impacting real people's lives. And she does to this minute as great as all the other comic book characters and as many fans as they have, it's like, she's not Superman. She's not Batman. She's a completely different thing. And she's real. Christy, thank you for sitting down and talking to us about Wonder Woman and what she's meant to you and your family and for sharing this beautiful collection with us. Oh my God, I just noticed the motorcycle helmet, sorry. <laughs> Bicycle.